Hello my YouTube fans, <clears throat> welcome back to the channel again, um, the diverse one, so here's what I've been having a go at late, uh, wood carvings, this is just a selection of the few I've made, um, when the weather's bad and what have you, it's uh, quite nice to do. So, what's the project about? Okay, because you know there's a project coming. So what it is, it's um, when you're carving these things, you can use knives, but there's also gouges. And the gouges are so expensive. There you go. I thought I might have a go at making some myself out of um, hacksaw blades. Um, so that's what I'm going to have a go at making gouges. I mean, a decent set will cost you hundred odd pound just for a few. So uh, what I'm going to do is have a go at trying to make some, as I've said. Uh, jigs. That's it. Jigs. What do you say? Yes, jigs. Okay then. Right. So are you lot in favour of a new set of chisels or gouges? Yes, please. Right, where we go then. These are just made out of four inch by one inch blocks of wood. This is lime. Uh, in America, they normally use a basswood. Uh, now, whether they call lime basswood, I don't know. But in England, that's the softest that you can make these things out of. So, yeah, I started off with these. Just have a bit of twig. Then I started on some mushrooms. Just to get used to it, some baby ones there. And then little by little I've got better and it it really is good. It's good for the mind just to be able to sit there and whittle. But anyway, I'm prattling now, so what we'll do we'll get to the workshop and see what we can do. Okay? Right, come with me. So, what have we got to make these uh, gouges with? Right, well first off you want a hacksaw blade. And from all the hacksaw blades I've ever had, this is a, an Eclipse one, which I consider to be the best. 24 teeth. Um, so I'm going to end up using that, but no matter, because I can use my grinder for cutting the other stuff. So, your first thing is a groove in a piece of metal, a bit of bar, like a V and then another tool which will swage into it that goes in there like that, I'm sorry if there's not enough light, it's like black hole of Calcutta in here so you heat your blade up, you squash it into there right. So the next thing I want to go with the metal work is some half inch bar, thus, get two pieces of it and then I want to drill some 5mm, 10mm, 2mm and 4mm or whatever holes in along the side of it and they'll act as a swage. So I've got to cut that in half first and then I've got to drill the holes. Okay, so we'll get on with that. Watch your steak pies. Eyes. Uh, right, where's me? So, on this side first. Can't be bothered setting me up. I've got some new wire to put in it. But... Right, so that's that. A pair of pliers to pick it up. I know my hands are cold, but I certainly don't want them warming up like that. What we 
do with that is. Mark it up for the holes. And then drill them out. So. Sham the chalk up. Oh, it's that cold. My hands are blue. Be better when we get to making the uh, handles. Do a nice bit of wood turn in them. It's not my best one. It's that cold in it. Flipping world's gone cold. To worry about it. <clears throat> okay, so that's a swage block. So we separate this, lay it side by side, weld the ends again, and then you'll have something to put your moulds into. So, get that cleaned off first, both, uh, both sides. Split it and then clean it up. Aye, aye. Must be a better welder than everybody said. Ah, that's warm. Now get that apart. Okay, watch your eyes. Then we can clean these up afterwards. Okay. Do it back in front. Well, natural fact. Watch your eyes. One. Three. <coughs> right, so what I want now is a, a bracket or something to go on the back so it'll fasten in the vise. <laughs> to get rid of the edge of the razor blades, razor blades, to get rid of the edge of the hacksaw blade, what I've done is I've got two pieces of three quarter by eight steel, put the blade in it and then ground it and flushed it off to get rid of all this teeth and then just smooth it off on your inch belt grinder so that's the teeth off focus focus trust me they're off so I'll clean that edge up because obviously there's a bit of a bird on it on the inch flat grinder and then we're ready for um, Heating up, having a bash. So all I'm doing now is annealing the uh, axle blade so it loses all its strength. Makes it a bit more pliable. And I'll let it cool down and then I'll cut it down to, say, to size then. I think maybe either three or four inch pieces. 
if you can imagine a piece of steel like made out of tennis balls, they're all really quite hard. As well, they'll be like ball bearings. So when we heat it up and then we let it cool, the structure of the metal goes to like tennis balls as molecules go. Nice and soft and pliable. And then when we've got the shapes that we want, uh, we have to heat it up, or it up again and temper it so it goes back to the same strength as uh, steel balls, ball bearings. It's just a visual. Right, where were we? Uh, well, we've so called annealed the blades. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut them into three inch pieces, maybe I think that's enough. Enough for the head bit and a bit of a tang to go into the... A bit of a tang to go into the handle that we're going to make, yeah. Uh, yeah, about three inch. That should be enough to be able to do a little bit on the front there. And... Uh, a good bit of tang to go into the back of the handle will turn down a bit later on. So I'll just cut cut these on guillotine. And I can cut. Them to what I want. Oh, I'll tell you what. It's cold today. Chest bad today, I shouldn't be in here, but I've got to do something. So, right, cut these off now. That's easy enough. Two. I mean, they may be a success, these, I don't know. But I like some projects to occupy my mind. So I've got three there. So what I'll do now is I'll just clean them up on the um, belt sander. So we've got us the uh, blow lamp going. Warm these up. One of them anyway. Not good, is it? Try it like that. Still need an hammer though, don't I? Little hammer. Twisted. Okay, so I'll put that there, that there.
got a bit of a round tang to go into the, the handle. Maybe that needs to be a bit tighter. Try this one. There. Fiddly or what? I will just show you it done. This is a warts and all, just to show you the difficulties you're going to come across. But I definitely recommend you have somebody uh, help you. you. Need four hands on this. Okay, where's the hammer? Half vibrate through your hands, I'll tell you. I mean, it's playable now, it's not hardened anymore. I'm going to get all the knife specialists now saying, nah, you should have done this, you should have done that. I know what I should have done, I should have just bought some new ones, but... <coughs> it's silly money and that's what we're trying to avoid, isn't it, listener? Listener? Watch you. This works after all this faffing about. I've had this math gun years, I just haven't had a chance to use it yet. I never got a gas bottle for it. I went to plumbers, it was more expensive than what I thought. I mean, I know it's good, right, but... I'll have a look on eBay next time. A bit expensive. I might try some um, proper hardened steel next time, get some rod, eat it up, shape it and what have you done. We'll see how these go. So, I mean, readily speaking, 
it's just the things that I want doing now handles but if it's cold like this if it stays cold I don't know whether I can do it outside it's alright having these sheds but you want to be warm so you don't have any accidents with your hands and tools okay so that's it next stage now so I'm going to clean them up a little bit with file and a bit of emery paper and then um, we'll just have to re-harden them then okay so I'll try again on this one just after the blue bluey bronze line going up to the top can you see it moving now there it goes come on come on keep moving move along now move along just about there there that's it that's my take on it anyway I need some copper tubing which is under there somewhere or have I got some to one side uh, let's see let's just move you up there's got to be something in here somewhere oh got it got it got it got it got it nope no I am That's solid there painted red looking like it here we go so we'll get that cleaned up and that's what I'm going to make my fettles out of. Yeah, that should do it. Just a bit of copper pipe. You could get some brass tubing, but I've got copper, so that's it. <laughs> this is what I'm going to be using for the handles. I need to make some form of small palm uh, pear shape to fit in the palm of my hand, that sounds better oh, just having a drop of coffee there, it's so cold here so I anyway, will pick one of these and we'll go for that one I think and we'll get that in position and put on and I'll just have a little go with it, see what happens I'm just taking out green off the top back. Mr. Chan would, but there's a terrible delay on this. Gonna get it all level first. Then make a recess to um, sorry about this. I can't think and talk at the same time. <coughs> I need to make a recess so it will go in the end of my chuck. So I've got that already on me things, and it's miles off. So, I've seen it done but I haven't done it myself yet, so here we go. You're on a learning curve with me, because I ain't a clue. Yes, we know. Alright, alright.
I got my bits. Copper piping, which is going to do for the ferrules. Um, my jig for making the dowels. The three tools that we made the the other week, and my bracket for the for, for the uh, camera. So I'm gonna have a cup of coffee and then I'll put that back on. I'll put this on the mount, okay? And there we go, so far so good. So you just gotta round that off and then put a flat spot on it, thickness for the uh, copper pipe for the fiddle. <sighs> Carry on, I've just dropped the camera and thought I'd broke it, but it's fine, it's fine. So I'm gonna need somewhere to set camera up properly in here, otherwise I'm gonna be kicking it over all the time. Yeah. Well, I think that's about it. All I've got to do now is just uh, smooth it up. And then make a pattern of the shape of it. Uh, this is really my first time of making anything like this, so... It's fun. A bit nervous for you lot watching me though. I have no fancy sandpapers and what have you, I've just got what I've got and that's it. In time. I'm not sure about this. And just... Get through there, maybe a bit faster, go on. So, looks like an egg, don't it? Hang on, where are we? There. So I've got to see now if that uh, copper ferrule will fit on it. Where are we? Where's my copper pipe? Oh yeah, just a snug fit. Just a snug fit. So, can you see that? I can just finish that off with sandpaper. So I need to cut that off there. And then that's my funnel. Right, let's check his homemade uh, dowel maker. Just cut a piece of wood off the lathe. Uh, off the band so Cut it as near the hole as you can. Not like that. Size wise, get a point on it. See how well this works. Save me going out and buying dowels if I need one. See a lot there, can If I'd have cut it a bit nearer to its size, I think that'd have gone better. But you can see. Well, there's the finished product. What would I do differently again? Well, for starters, I wouldn't use green wood, which was a mistake. So that's a lesson learned. Uh, so you don't have to make that mistake yourself. <laughs> or would you be wise enough just not to do it in the first place? Um, I would get 
some proper brass ferrules that are a bit bigger than that. Um, and I'd, I'd say that, that's about it. That's, that's the only two mistakes I made, really. Um, I'd definitely have a go of it, go of it again. Um, but I think it's a quite a good little tool. I've got my V on. I think it needs a bit more honing, but here we go. If you can see that, works for me, and it fits neat in palm of my hand. So I'd I'd say that was a success. I'm going to get the gouges I want. Um, the next ones I'll make will be a little bit. Uh, I'll spend a bit more time on them. I would just experiment in with this to see if it would work. Um, but yeah, as far as I'm concerned, it was a good exercise. I've even had a go at putting some little V's, little gouges in his beard. If you can see that. Yeah. So. If you don't want to spend a lot of money, but you are quite handy with your hands, um, I'd definitely say have, have a go at doing this yourself. I'm going to try some other ways as well. Um, I'm going to get some uh, O1 tool steel next time, round bar, and flatten it out and try to make some shapes out of it. There's, there's all sorts you can have a go at. Anyway, I'm waffling now. So anyway... That's that. I'm happy with it. And it did, what did it cost me? Bit of scrap wood, bit of copper piping, and an old axle blade which were worn anyway. There you go. Fits in the palm perfect. I didn't make the others. Um, I just finished this one off today because it, it was too cold. Um, when I put this in as well, I resined it, put some resin in there and on the ferrule, make sure it doesn't slip. But anyway, if you've enjoyed that little journey with me and you enjoyed uh, watching how I did it, um, if anything else comes up, you'll only know if you tune into my channel. So if you like this, like and subscribe. And that's it. That's all for now. So it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from a hand. Bye.